Hi guys, so today I'm flying to Munich in Germany. <laughs> right, so I am working in Munich this week and on Sunday I'll be going to London I've got a busy week ahead of me I'm also going to London on another day well, straight after I get back from uh, Munich um, I'm waiting for an Uber I don't know when it's going to arrive it says 6 minutes then it goes over to 7 minutes it's still 7 minutes away and that was 3 minutes ago now he's eight minutes away. Oh my gosh. All right, anyway. Yeah, so, got a busy, busy week ahead of me. Really busy. I don't know what I'm gonna do. Hopefully it'll all pay off in the, uh, in the end. Otherwise, there's no point in doing it. Um, yeah, so, I've run off my first invoice as my new event uh, management company and uh, yeah, feels good let's just hope they pay on time now so I'm actually leaving the venue now because the venue wouldn't accept the uh, equipment and um, we have to get it delivered to the hotel so the hotel said yeah we'll collect it, uh, we'll keep it for you but then what happened was we couldn't find it when I arrived this morning uh, so now they've found it and um, I'm going back to collect it and then I'm going to bring it back here set up the rest of the equipment and we're ready to roll for tomorrow morning it's going to be an interesting show the organizers seem really really nice so um, yeah hopefully um, it will be a successful show for everyone Second trip to London uh, this week, uh, and I'm now in my um, hotel room, which is the Premier Inn hub. And I've booked this place a couple of times for my colleagues, but I'm staying here now myself. And it's a really tiny place, but it's cool. It's very much like. Uh oh, I've just realised. There's no iron or ironing board. Okay, so let me just flip this round and show you. Flip. So 
So I have the bathroom and then the bedroom, which is cool. Hello. Nice and clean. Oh, look at that. That's perfect. I love it when they do shit like this. Wow, look at that. A control panel as well for the aircon, the lighting, book light maybe. Do not disturb. And look, I get a doorbell. I heard it. It's Sunday the 24th of June 2018. Lethal Weapon 2 is on. And I've got a can of Monster, which I'm going to have now. Cheers, guys. It's uh, been a really crazy week for me. So I went back to work as a part-time on-site manager and my first event was in Munich in Germany unfortunately I didn't take much video there um, it was my second time in Munich so I got to see a bit of it which was a lot better than last time when all I did was go from the venue to the hotel which was less which was just crazy it was just like one road away and there was nothing nearby apart from one Burger King I think anyway um, it was good it was exciting it was one event and um, all I had to do was set up the equipment and run the show and just look after the organizers which I did really well and they left me some really good feedback which is amazing and um, I then came back to Birmingham or came back to Birmingham only to then uh, go down to uh, London for two days and I spent one day back at home which was Saturday was it Saturday? It was Saturday. Uh, I didn't get back from London on Friday until like half two or whatever it was. And yeah, it was a long journey. I uh, started to fall asleep on the way back actually, but um, it wasn't too bad. Um, yeah, but the weirdest thing was, um, when I put my destination in while I was in London, it was saying 11 hours to get back home. <laughs> I had no idea how that happened, but I didn't want to try it. So I put in a different city and, uh, and off it went. And it said 1 hour 50 something. And I got home finally, only to spend one day at home on uh, Saturday and then today um, I've had to drive back down to central London uh, to the QE2 the QE2 centre there we go way yeah I run an event here which is starting tomorrow I did the setup today and um, I finished later than I had planned but it wasn't too bad I didn't get the chance to go and have a look around um, I've been here quite a few times but I've never had the chance to go around and have a look at stuff properly so today would have allowed me to do that but not to worry at least I got my work out of the way so there's no problems tomorrow and um, yeah I'll be coming back on Wednesday, believe it or not, and uh, this hotel I'm staying in, Ugh. 
This hotel I'm staying in is really cool. And I like it when things are like this. Everything I need is right here. As you saw in the video, I've got the power uh, outputs and inputs. Um, and audio outputs and inputs, should I say, not power outputs. I do have power outputs. Uh, quite quite a good number of them, actually. And, um, yeah, it's pretty cool. I've even got a doorbell. <laughs> Are you talking to me, man? Are you talking to me? I don't see anybody else here. Shit, I just swallowed that. Right, so... Formula One. I haven't watched today's race because I've had to travel down to London. Uh, but I will watch it when I get back. And I have stopped doing these Formula One videos. But um, I do like doing them. Even though I don't really do too much in them. Apart from give predictions on three drivers. Um, I've got the time now to actually add more content into them. Excuse me. I have got... I have got more content to put into these videos. No, I've got more time to put content into these videos now. Enjoying this season so far, it's not been bad at all. Um, I wasn't able to watch uh, a lot of the uh, Le Mans uh, coverage because I don't have Eurosport. And uh, I tried to catch a bit on um, YouTube, but um, there wasn't really anything decent. Um, any streams to watch or anything like that so um, I'm waiting for someone to put all of Fernando's highlights in and uh, hopefully I can just watch those but he's doing really well uh, obviously he won <laughs> which is good I haven't been watching Formula 1 like I normally do which is really it's upsetting actually it's like I don't have the time to do it anymore to sit there and watch it I want to be doing other things um, you know I'm trying to see what I can do to make more money and all of these little projects that I'm running and working on uh, they seem to be going nowhere at the moment it's like I have I've had the idea I've developed the idea but then I don't know how to carry it out, which is really annoying. And um, yeah, it's just something I need to work on, need to see if I can do something about it. In the next few uh, weeks, I'm going to be moving house, so there'll be uh, slightly less um, content from me it's kind of been scarce anyway the amount of content I've been putting on so you probably won't notice anyway some of you probably won't even care a lot of you aren't even watching so the people that do watch I really thank you for watching this is my USB-C cable it is amazing it's got a metal outer casing, but it's one of those cool metal ones that are like, what the hell, it's like a snake. And it feels good, it doesn't tangle, like it doesn't do anything, it's amazing. <laughs> anyway, enough playing with USB cables.
So what did I learn this week? One, I need to be more assertive. That's one of the problems I have. Like, I try to please everyone. But like, I need to be able to tell people, look, you have to do things my way or the highway. Obviously my way is not always good, um, might not be right, but I have the experience to actually know what I'm talking about. So I guess I do have to be assertive when I know I'm right and when the situation calls for it, um, I need to put my foot down on that. It might displease some people, but I think that's the way it goes. Sometimes you have to break a few eggs to make an omelette. New Year's resolution starting now is to be more assertive. Um, what else have I learned this week? That working for yourself is really hard. And you need to be disciplined. You need to make sure you've got the right people on board with you that need to be with you. You need to have a good accountant. You need to have all your documents in one place. Um, you need to choose the right bank. That's one thing I'm really pissed off about. So I have a Barclays bank account and um, I decided to get a Barclays business bank account for my business and it took them at least three weeks to just get back to me and I had been contacting them like two or three times uh, but they didn't get back to me with any information. The account was set up last Friday I needed my account to be ready by Monday but it never happened so that was annoying and um, it's kind of left me behind because I haven't been able to I've invoiced my client um, using my old bank details or my personal bank details which is not the best thing to do when you know you're setting up business and um, yeah it's not been good so I haven't enjoyed that I thought you know I'd go see them get the bank account in a couple of days or whatever and then I'm ready to go but that hasn't gone through um, I've also discovered not to rely on certain people that I know because they are not reliable and <laughs> they can't even get their own shit together and you know I'm expecting them to well basically I'm trying to help them as well as help myself and it's not I don't think it's gonna go anywhere so this little project that I've got coming which I will involve all of you in um, it's not gonna happen this time round or this year even I was hoping that I'd get at least two events done in the um, summer holidays which are coming up um, so just to let you know I'm opening a cinema club yay and I'll be talking about uh, well I won't be talking about these things but I'd be showing films um, to the public for um, payment of you know basically you have to buy a ticket to watch a movie um, but I don't know I, I was about to purchase a license for showing movies to the public and I thought okay let's see what my colleague uh, or friend <laughs> a bit of both um, will do um, if he's still up for it so I asked him if he's up for it 
no response at all up on that question. Other questions, response all day long, um, pretty much, but not for that particular cinema club idea. I've even sent him the figures. I did a like a mini, um, what do you call it? And did a mini business plan kind of thing, and you know, it doesn't take long to figure out. Now you can make a lot of money doing it, but it's just not happening. So I need to find a venue. I need to find. I need to find loads of things actually. I mean, I, blah, 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 blah. I haven't even got a projector, so <laughs> I've got to start from scratch. Um, I don't know. I seriously don't know. It's doing my head in. I'm trying to do so much. And I'm trying to make make something of my life. I'm 37 now, and I've got the hurry up call. I I I feel like I'm a failure. I wish I had so much right now. But I've got nothing to show for it. I've worked since I was 15 and I've got nothing to show for it and it's annoying the crap out of me. I've been giving other people money and not keeping any for myself. And um, yeah, I just... I just need to carry on, but I need to do everything in my power to do to get what I want this time around. It's just I just don't see it being any easier this time around. Just doing everything for myself. I've got the time now to concentrate on, on everything. Do you know what I mean? And it still seems like I don't know where to start, I don't know what I've got to do, what I've got left to do, or how I need to approach it. It's it's getting it's getting to the stage where I'm worrying, worrying a lot. And um I've been applying to jobs and things like that. I've been applying to mainly like nighttime jobs. So I can work in the night, have a few hours rest, and go to go to work <laughs> uh, on my other little projects, and then go back uh, in the in the night and do a few hours. But yeah, even that's hard now finding a job that will allow you to do that. There's jobs out there, but they're not picking people like me. My CV's just super crazy. I have to dumb it down just to, you know, get a phone call that, that sometimes. It's just really, man, that's annoying as well. It's just, I don't know. <sighs> yeah, not good at all. Anyway, enough about my shit. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe to my channel. And if you want to see more videos, tell me which kind of videos you like and just put a comment down below and just say and say what you want to see. I can pretty much do anything now in terms of video content. Yeah, if there's anything you need to know, any kind of information, any IT stuff, I can get it all done. I can make a video on it for you, specifically for you. Join my Patreon and you can get content all day long. So, thank you for watching again.